Home bend, and this leader should have plenty left unless he hasn't pulled himself too hard. It's Stable Secret leading Flying Roar, and now the sprint's really on, so the back markers would want to get a wriggle on. War God, two lengths behind them, third off the bit quickly, Bonnie Be Good. Johnston Porter pulls the fave to the outside, Pinzu to try and make some ground further back point. At the 300, Flying Roar headed Stable Secret, and now Pinzu. Here he comes, Pinzu ranged up, War God's in the middle from Flying Roar, but Pinzu as they approach the 100 starts to draw right away from them. A sharp performance again, and Pinzu drew clear to beat War God. Great tussle for third between Point or Settlers Creek and Flying Roar towards the rail. Then Bonnie Be Good, and back last of all, Stable Secret. 2.51.40 here. The Divi Pinzu, Clint Johnston, Porter. They... Uh, they certainly did crawl, and one might have imagined there that it could have been a bit more difficult for the back markers, although they weren't that far away. And, and Pinzu's turn of acceleration then to the four and uh, putting pay to them at the 200 metre mark. War God tried to stick, beaten off, however, all interest in minor placings. Point got through late, and also Settlers Creek, and they've split it little between those two for the skinny end of the money. All honours, though, with Pinzu by Pins from Celebrate. Race by Sarah Miller, trained by Adam Durant, ridden by Clint Johnston Porter. And it's back-to-back uh, -back wins and now seven out of 19. Second will be War God, number four by War Chant from Hallelujah, trained by Neville Parnham, ridden by Brad Parnham. Number seven, point third home by High Chaparral from Anazeel, Aaron Baisley, Randy Tan, just in front of the outsider, Settlers Creek. So two good for them, Pinzu in the fourth. Race five, the Tab Touch Masters at 3.28. No changes here, and let's twist to be ridden about midfield today. A little change in the tactic there. Margins two lengths by three quarters. At 1.24.83, they just uh, trotted along there in front, but the leaders gave nothing. First of all, stable secret. Bonnie Be Good was off the bridle at the 400. Pretty disappointing on the face of it for the second favourite. Gave nothing. OK, let's go down. Here's Matt Kelly in the yard as uh, Pinzu comes back, and he's in a purple patch. Certainly is, Darren. I've got winning trainer Adam Durant here with me. Adam, I want to f uh, first off talk about uh, a super ride there from a young bloke who gave that horse every single chance. Yeah, well, that was the plan going out there. We've, you know, we've ascertained that this horse has to be ridden quiet, and when you're riding quiet, he's got a really good finish. So um, my only concern today was whether it was a fraction short for him because, he, you know, as he's getting deeper into his prep, he's probably going to start looking for a mile. But, um, yeah, we've under-trained him this fortnight, just sort of... Just wanted to keep him under a mile as long as we can while he's going well and creeps through his ratings and uh, and then probably uh, have a crack at the Northern Cup with him. I think it's going to be a nice race with a nice uh, long straight and uh, yeah, give him plenty of chance to wind up. Just to talk to us about this horse away from the track in uh, when he's in his work. He's a pretty switched on unit. Yeah, he, he does everything you ask of him. He's you know he's nothing fantastic to look at. He's got bent legs. He's got horrible feet. Everything. He's, he hasn't. He's not an easy horse to train. And all the staff do a fantastic job at home. He's. He's always in buckets of ice and uh, patching him up. He's, he's had very few sound days in his life, but once he warms up and, uh, and gets those legs motoring, he's, uh, he's got a good turn of foot, and I think he has got a good race in him. Two in a row. Well done. Thank you. Adam Durant there. Clint Johnson Porter, we had a chat before the race, and you mentioned that uh, should the pace uh, not be on today, that you'd be happy to, to adjust and, and make changes, and you did just that. It was a brilliant ride, and the horse uh, pretty much put in the performance that was required. Yeah, he's a nice horse, and like I said before, he's, he's coming for his ranks, and uh, I reckon he showed a sharper turn of foot again today. Like I said, he's just going to get better as he goes on in his career. You really, uh, when the pace wasn't on through the middle stages there, you made sure you were close enough, and then as you came around the bend, you pretty much pocketed Bonnie Be Good in. Um, just give us your thoughts when cornering. You must have been pretty confident. Yeah, he was travelling really well. I gave him a little touch on the belly with the hooks, and he uh, stilled up quite nice. I uh, had a look to my inside, and Bonnie Be Good was under a bit of pressure and I thought well I'm pretty much home now so and he uh, did the rest for me. And Adam's uh, just saying before that he feels this horse will really start to uh, find his best as he gets over a bit longer trip perhaps the mile you get that feel as well? Yeah definitely do I think the more ground he gets the better he's going to be. Well done. Yeah thank you. Clint Johnston Porter there the winning rider aboard Pinzu who's made it two on the trot for Adam Durant taking out a race number four.